In this video, I will demonstrate how to produce the two simultaneous equations to solve for the three unknown currents um, in the circuit, the current to R1, R2, and R3. First of all, we need to put on the polarity on the batteries. Next, we need to indicate the current on the left hand side, I1. We are using the mesh method of circuit analysis. I1, we assume that I1 is flowing um, clockwise through here. So if that's I1 flowing through here, that means that I1 will be here. On the right hand side, we assume I2 is meshing with I1, so it is flowing anti-clockwise is flowing down this way so you put the arrow like that so therefore this is I2 and according to Kirchhoff's current law um, the current leaving this node must be equal to the current entering so the current flowing through here will be I1 plus I2 next assistance uh, for getting our polarities correct we put the polarities, the voltage polarities on the resistors. So this point is positive, so this point will be positive, this point will be negative, this point will be positive, this point will be negative. Over here, this point will be positive, negative, here will be positive, negative. Next step, we create using Kirchhoff's voltage law, which states that the algebraic sum of the voltages around a closed loop is zero. We create an equation for the left hand side. So we start from this point and we ask ourselves is this a voltage rise or fall? It is a, it is a rise from negative to positive so it will be plus 8 so plus 8 volts from here to here would be um, a voltage fall and um, somehow I, I forgot to put on the values of the resistors so let's assume that this resistor is 3 ohms this one so let's say 4 ohms and this one is 7 ohms sorry about that now so let's go again so starting from here plus 8 volts the current flow the voltage across here would be minus 3 I1 the voltage across R3 would be minus 7 into I1 plus I2 that would all equal to zero volts. So we have eight minus three I1 minus seven I1 minus seven I2 equals to zero. So we have that eight minus 10 I1 minus seven I2 equals to zero. We can then write but in having um, the, 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 the I1s and I2s on one side, we can have then that 10 I1 plus 7 I2 is equals to 8. That would give us our equation 1. Doing the same thing on the right hand side we have minus 6 minus 4 I sorry plus 6 minus 4 I2 minus 7 into I1 plus I2 will be equals to 0 so we have 6 minus 4 I2 minus 7 I1 minus 7 I2 equals to 0 or 6 minus 7 I1 minus 4 I2 minus 7 I2 that's minus 11 I2 equals to 0 and like in uh, the left hand side how we we put all the I1s and I2s on one side, we get that 7 I1 plus 11 I, I2 
is equal to zero, sorry, is equal to six, and that gives us equation two. We now have two simultaneous equations that we can use to solve for I1 and I2, and then um, I, I1 plus I2.